Hello friends, I'm back again with another tutorial. Recovery, your PC slash device needs to be repaired and unexpected error occurred. You need a recovery tool or an installation media, disk or a USB. So this happened when I tried to install a new windows on my PC. You can see even our lots of options at the bottom, escape for UEFI firmware setting, F8 for the startup setting and presenter to try again. So we are going to fix this issue today. So let's begin. Okay guys, most of the time this happens because of the USB uh, bootable device. It is not created properly. So the very first step you can try, the easy way, you can Go to the Google and search for Rufus, R U F U S, the latest version of software. It is free to download. So you'll find a lots of web. You can download the latest version of R U F U S. It's a Rufus software. And what you're gonna do? You just have to select your pen drive right over here, and then you're gonna select where you have your ISO file that you have downloaded, and or and then you just have to leave everything as a default you can see it should be fat 32 default and then you have to start the creation it will automatically create a bootable media and then you can try that media bootable USB drive because the previous one did not work and I was having an issue so I hope this fixed the issue or else we'll go with the next step if it do not fix the issue Okay guys, what this software does is, you can see, now I have created, so this one is the ISO file, so it was, it is a, one of the, it's a, like a ISO, another G drive created by the software, and here is the pen drive where I have all the files written over here. Now I am just going to eject this pen drive and, and here is the one ISO drive created by that software. So this is the pen drive already booted and here I have all the bootable files. Now I'll use this pen drive in another PC and let me check it out if I'm being able to boot and it's working fine. Okay guys you can see this is another laptop I'm going to boot with that pen drive now. So I was having the issue in this laptop. So there are different ways to get a boot option. So if you're using a uh, different less some laptop you got to you have to press the F2 key in some laptop F12 key F8 key delete key and if you're using HP laptop you're going to press the escape key and as soon as you turn on the power icon you have to press the escape key and then you're going to choose your boot option currently my pen drive is uh, HP pen drive so this is the boot option for me so I'm going to boot from a pen drive so I'm just going to select this my pen drive, USB drive and press enter key. And let's see, you, okay guys, you can see I did not get any kinds of error and I have a couple of options whether I want Windows 10, 64 bit or 32 bit. Now I'll press, okay, I'll go with the 64 bit and press enter key. Now you can see it is loading the set of files. In the beginning I was having an issue. So it was a pen drive issue. So even if you are formatting a pen drive with your command prompt and making a bootable pen drive so if you are you for doing it for the windows 10 you guys have to format it by using fat32 lots of guys do the mistake while formatting they type fs equals format fs equals ntfs but you have to format it using a fat32 fs format fs equals fat32 so the software method is the best method and easiest method guys. So if you like this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Have a good day.